It's 9.30 in the morning and it's still foggy out. Ooh, that looks like a tank too. First one in the morning and it's a gigantic one. Holy crap. Oh my God, you guys, that is a new PB for me. Oh my God. What is going on Fishaholics? Well, uh, you guys probably saw last week's video where it was that we were, fish I'm fishing in the Lachenau Islands area and it was a very productive bass fishing day here and I mean despite me getting hooked in the thumb, I just kept on cranking out there and I was catching some smallmouth left and right out there. So we're com I'm com I have decided to come back out here and give it another shot here since the weather is supposed to be pretty nice. But so far this morning, it is looking very thick fog out and it's kind of cold out. I'm not going to lie. But um, let's go ahead and see if we can catch anything out there on the water every once. Man, that's some thick fog there, everybody. Literally, it's being blown under the bridge too. I can see it. There we go. All right, first one of the day. You got one? It's a nice one, probably about a, uh, I'll go ahead and get a weight on it. Caught that thing on a uh, Strike King football head jig with a Guggen Baits uh, Saucy Swimmer. Go ahead and get yourself some Saucy Swimmers if you guys wanna go find them on GuggenSquad.com. Three pounds. Three pounds, 11 ounces, all right. It's actually a little bit more than I anticipated. Sweet. Boy or girl, whatever it is. Ooh. Came out of nowhere. Dude literally came out of nowhere.
All right. On the saucy swimmer. Oh, I think I caught this one earlier. He's bleeding out. I don't know how to weigh this one, just to be sure. I feel like I caught this one earlier. <laughs> Only one way to find out. Oh, uh, no, I guess not. But similar size, 215. So right on the brink of about three pounds. Alrighty. Huh. Okay. Yeah, maybe, you're, yeah, you don't look like that same one that I caught earlier. But alrighty, go ahead and head home. A lot of people hate Guggen baits, but a lot of people say they tear easy, but so far the Saucy Swimmer hasn't disappointed. It's caught me two nice smallies so far. Yeah, that smallie literally came out of nowhere and just smoked my swim jig. Apparently my phone is ringing. It's 9 30 in the morning and it's still foggy out i think they said the fog's supposed to clear out of here by 10 but uh, i don't know it doesn't seem like it will not for a while anyway Well, everyone, I'm back at the house now. It's probably about close to noon, and well, this morning's uh, did not go quite as w the way I was hoping, and I only caught a couple smallmouth. I mean, I guess it's not too bad, but it wasn't quite as productive as it was last time. Well, apparently there were some guys on the other side of the bridge. They were crushing them, but when I tried to go over there a little bit later, they uh, unfortunately it seemed the bass decided to stop biting for the day. It's so weird because when I was down there, and it's only about maybe a half hour drive from my house down to that to the Lachina area, it's like a 20 degree difference. It was about 45 degrees by like 11 a.m. when I was leaving there, and it was still thick fog, by the way. And when I finally got up north here towards my place, the temperature was already like 60 degrees, and it's warm and sunny out and more calm. So that is just so bizarre. 
with our weather right now. But I think tomorrow, tomorrow it's supposed to be, the temperature's supposed to be close to the same as today down there in that area. So I'll probably go back tomorrow morning and see if I can get any better luck. And I don't think it's supposed to be foggy at all. And it's supposed to be more overcast. And So I think that'll be perfect weather. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, just uh, get some lunch. Then we'll head back out tomorrow. morning everyone it is day two out here and I can officially confirm right off the bat for the next day the fog has lifted actually not quite as windy as it was yesterday like yesterday it was just not a good day like literally thick fog that you could hardly see out everywhere and combined with that wind from the east it was just it was not comfortable so let's go ahead and get our lines back in the water maybe we'll have better luck this time First cast in the morning, right? Ooh, that looks like a tank too. That is a beautiful one. Oh, goodness gracious, come here, come here. First one in the morning, and it's a gigantic one. Holy crap. Look at that thing. Holy crap. Oh my goodness. God, that thing is a toad. Oh. You guys, that might be a PB right there. Go ahead and weigh him. Jeez, oh beats. This thing is heavy as heck. Oh my god! Six pounds, 12 ounces! Oh my god! This thing is six pounds, 12 ounces! Oh my god, you guys, that is a new PB for me. Oh my god! Six pounds, 12 ounces. That thing is almost seven pounds. Oh my god, I gotta get a picture with this thing. Holy crap. Oh my god. My goodness, that thing is a toad. That thing's a Meg. That thing, I'm calling it the Meg. <laughs> oh my goodness, that thing is gigantic. That is a pig. Oink, oink. All right, let's go ahead and get this thing back in. All right, see you later, big mama. Oh. <laughs> Let's freaking go, that was so awesome. People could say crap about Guggen all they want, but that was right there on the Guggen Bait Saucy Swimmer, you guys rigged up with a football jig head right there by Strike Keen. Just a perfect combination right there, and that thing landed a six pounder right there for me. My God, that is a new all-time PB. Oh, let's keep going. I had another one there. There's another. Oh. oh no. Come on. Feels like another good one too. Yeah, that's another nice one. Come here. Come to Papa. 
Number two for today. Eh, that's another nice one. Right, look at that on the saucy swimmer. Four pounds, ten ounces. Another nice one. Yeah. Nice. I like it. <laughs> and a, that swan just flew right directly over my head. All right, so two nice ones. Let's keep at her. Man, what a way to start the morning. First cast of the day, I catch my new PB. And my goal, everybody, for this year was to catch my first ever five pounder and I exceeded my expectations. And I think my PB is gonna be unbreakable. For a Uper bass, that is just unbelievable. And I'm the only one fishing here, by the way, this morning. Because either a lot of people are sleeping in or some of them are going to church. But Lord, thank you for this blessing today. I truly appreciate it. It seems like just as I start catching them, they disappear. Oh, no, don't tell me he broke off. Oh, he broke off. <sighs> like, man. Oh, there he is. That's him. I think. Yep. Oh, my God. What the hell? Okay. There we go. Oh, he broke off again. Are you kidding? Smart little, well, he's not little. <laughs> I 
wonder if it was that same six pounder because he was fighting really hard. Well, we may have not caught a lot of bass in today's video, everybody, but my God, that was awesome to set a new personal best for me, everybody. Six pounds, 12 ounces. That is just unbelievable. And it literally was the very first cast of the day, literally for day two. That is just, I, I'm in awe right now, everyone. Now, we did, I did catch a couple more nice smallies as well, a couple four pounders. Uh, one of them, unfortunately, I didn't get on camera silly me but that doesn't matter regardless of that it was just so much fun everybody to bring you guys along for this part two of the Lachina Islands trip here and I think I'm gonna have to figure out where my next stop is gonna be here because I do got several destinations picked out for the entire year of 2024 but I gotta choose wisely everybody so I'm gonna go ahead and head inside everybody get some lunch and I'm gonna go ahead and let you all go but before you guys do that if you guys are new to this channel smash the subscribe button for me if you guys haven't done that and feel free to share this video everybody on social media wherever you guys are at so I'm gonna go ahead and just conclude it everyone see you guys in the next one <laughs>